welcome to this tutorial. Um, and in this tutorial we're gonna um, install a second hard drive or solid state drive um, to your old Mac computer. I'm installing a solid state drive just to get a little power back in my old MacBook Pro. So uh, what you're gonna need is obviously some sort of a hard drive or solid state drive and I'm using a 120 gigabyte Samsung um, solid state drive SSD this is also called and you're gonna need some sort of, of adapter or caddy um, to use where um, the optical drive well the CD or DVD drive in your Mac uh, MacBook Pro uh, is and uh, I'm just gonna put a link in the description for this and probably for this uh, you can get those off Amazon let's get started you should um, have shut down your Mac computer completely just in case take a backup on a USB disk or just anything just to be sure um, that you have the most important files on uh, a safe spot so uh, let's go ahead and get started okay you should turn your Mac upside down and um, you got this screwdriver with the caddy unscrew these screws here with the Phillips screwdriver and uh, note that some of these screws up uh, in the back here might be longer so you're going to place them in some sort of pattern that you remember where the screws will be. Just lift up the unibody from the back, give it a, a clean up um, before doing anything. Okay, now that we've just given it a quick cleanup, dismounting the battery just to make sure we don't make any short circuits or get a shock or anything when we dismount um, the optical drive. This connector right here is the battery. Take two nails and just slowly pull it up. So um, once your battery is dismounted and not touching the pins, dismount these connectors right here. Lift up until it disconnects. There's two screws up here in this uh, speaker and antenna module up here. You're gonna remove these two screws. Go ahead and make a plan over where your screws came from if you can't remember it. Okay, so now you can actually lift the speaker module up. I'm gonna pull this out slowly, just like that. Just pull parallel to the surface of the uh, MacBook, uh, you really don't want to stress these pins. So just pull slowly and it comes right off. Just vacuum clean where you dismounted this. We're gonna just unscrew these two screws right here. These two. You don't want to screw these screws completely up from this adapter. You just want to screw them up so you can actually move it freely inside this uh, bracket here and there's a couple of other screws here there's a screw right here that we're going to dismount and there's a screw up here in the corner and a screw down here dismount those now you should be able to just slowly lift this out of here if you've done it the right way um, and there you have your optical drive Okay, now we're going to mount the hard drive or the solid state drive depending on what you are installing. So just take out this black adapter here on the optical drive that we dismounted from the motherboard and insert it into the caddy. It's going to use the same port, your new hard drive is going to use the same port as the optical drive. Get your solid state drive or hard drive, mount this um, in here. So once you've got it in, take your screwdriver, screw these four screws in. So once you've done that, um, we need this small bracket. It's actually going to be mounted right here in these two holes as you can see here. So we're just going to unscrew this bracket and mount it back in this one. So once you've mounted this bracket on the caddy properly, we're going to flip it around and uh, reverse the process that we did to dismount the optical drive, just like that. And now we're going to re-screw these three screws into place. Alright, we can go ahead and mount the um, bracket here uh, again. 
Now we're gonna mount this antenna module, but we're first gonna mount the wires here. So just push that into place. Remount this leather cap on top of that, and this over this. Remount two connectors for the hard drive. Okay, now just screw the two screws back in the antenna module and mount that. Make sure the wires goes hidden in the canals here. Mount the battery back on. Push this connector. Now we have mounted the new solid state drive and we're gonna remount the unibody. Grab your unibody and back side, turn it around, take your screws and Rescrew these. Okay, now that you've mounted all the screws, just go ahead and start it up, and um, hopefully it should start up normally, and you should see some extra storage place. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe for further videos, further updates in my drone videos, um, as so many people call it nowadays. So uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye.